just as I was preparing for this interview, I'm like, yo, damn, I've been knowing E for a long time. Yeah, it's been you a minute. Yeah. Go back. Yeah. And I think it's just this incredible lesson that people have to understand. So often people are looking to befriend and to get in good and rub shoulders with the boss and rub shoulders with the people who are already there and are beating people's head time and time again. No, the future bosses, the future leaders, those are the people who are to your right and to your left. Those are your peers. What's your right. thoughts on that? Nah, I've, I learned that early on that, um, you try to you treat everybody the same way first and foremost you know the the intern the guy you know the, the top guy and the little guy to me are the same person and that's what one of the things that i used to do early on is i didn't i didn't like when i used to see people in powerful positions kind of like berate and like you know just like talk down to people because i'm looking at them like you don't know that the person that you're talking down to now might be your boss later that's right and, and, you know, I don't know how I learned. I can't tell you that someone told me or I, it just eventually, you know, it's just something that naturally I was like, nah, I, because I felt like I was that person. Maybe that's what it was. You know, I felt like Miami as a city in terms of, of the hip hop community, we were like on the low end of the totem pole in terms of the industry. So we were always like fighting for scraps and trying to like prove ourselves out there. And then, and then, you know, just, just my whole journey, I always felt like, okay, maybe they're not really taking me serious. And so I never took shit from people because I'm always like, look, you know, I might turn around and be, you know, the person telling you what to do in the future. So I looked, I try to treat people the same way. I thought I didn't want to be treated, basically, the golden rule, basically. No, oh, that's an excellent point. I think people need to really understand that. Like, I love what you just said. Like, you, you, you can be talking down to somebody today, but that person, especially if you're in an industry like ours, that All same right. person who you're talking down to today will turn around and be your boss tomorrow. And I really yeah. think people need to understand if, if you don't remember anything else, your peers, those are the ones, those are the ones who have every incentive to yeah. bring you up with them. Those are the ones who once they're in position, they're, they're thinking about who can I trust? Who did I go right. through the hard times with? Who do I know is a beast at what they do? And those are going to be the ones to send you work. So stop, you know, brown nosing and, and, and really just trying to get on the radar of people who are at the top of their game now. Focus to the right and to the left of you. And, and don't take for granted your own position that you're in because you might be in a good position one day and look at, look at life right now, the pandemic, and the next day life can just, you know, kick you in the ass and it could all be different. So that's my whole thing. Like stay humble, stay, you know, humility, man. That, that's my thing too, man. Just, just understand that everything that we're doing right now is like walking on eggshells, you know, so be grateful what you're doing. Keep working hard, work hard. Like, like, you know, this might not be here, you know, tomorrow. And, and that, and that goes the same thing with how you treat people because you might be, there might be somebody that's down there look right now. And then you might just count them out, you know, instead of making yourself in a sense available to, to, to everybody, you know, at least people in your network, like at least, you know, in, in terms of advice or, or anything you could potentially do for them, you know, and people sometimes will count these people out and then those people turn around and just kill it, you know, in the future. And then you're just like, damn, you know, like maybe I should have kind of like stuck in there with homie, you know. Or, or, so so that, I've seen that a lot, man. And I, and I really I, I try to live by all that. No, people really understood, it, you know, it's cliche to say, but it is so true. Your net worth is based on your network. Yeah. And that is 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 to the point as I could possibly get really try to embrace your network. It is so important. Treat people fair, treat people the same. Um, I should have started off the conversation by congratulating you. Congratulations, um, new baby boy. Yep, new baby boy. We had to reschedule our interview because he actually was born the night before we were gonna do this originally. Yeah, I mean, we had to push yeah. this back. So, so congratulations, man. What is this, Thank number you, two for you? This is number two and that's it. Hopefully that's, that's it. That's what I, yeah, I just want to, yeah, two and I'm good. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.